Oh, yeah. That's good. That's a big difference. Hi, welcome to the 13th floor. I'm Marty Duda. Today, it's Jeff Ong back with us. How are you doing, Jeff? I'm doing well, thank you. Thanks so much for having nice, me. Just, nice. yeah. Always good to have you up here. How was your summer? Yeah, it was really good, actually. Um, a, lot of, a lot of beach time. Ooh. Um, I guess a lot of prepping for this, um, for this song as well. Oh, okay. Um, All right. So it's a balance of, of swimming at the, in the ocean and trying to be productive. So, and you, you, uh, you've been doing some shows, some festivals and things? I have, yeah. So I did uh, Newtown Festival down in Wellington right. a few weeks ago, and then Cross Street Festival up here in Auckland um, a week after that. You like doing festivals? I do, yeah. It's What's, really fun. What What is the the plus side of doing festivals? Oh man, I think it's just like it's really exciting, you know, like being um, being part of a lineup with a bunch of other amazing artists uh -huh. and like getting to you know, share music with an audience who don't necessarily know who I am. Right. You know, I think that's a really cool thing to be able to do. And I don't know, it's just, it's just fun getting to play on new stages and cool. getting to fly down to Wellington was really special. And landing you know. isn't al is always an adventure, isn't it? I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely, I was like, is this gig going to be worth it? Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah. And were you playing with a band or just doing a solo thing? Uh, in Wellington, it was just me. Yeah. Um, but in, at, for Cross Street, it was, uh, with the band, which was really oh, special. Oh, yeah. cool. And and what other musicians did you get to hang out with? Anybody in particular? Oh, yeah. Um, so Fate and the Sweetos. Oh, I yeah. I don't know if you've heard of them. Um, yep, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Um, so one of my friends, uh, she sings in his band as like a backing vocalist. So it was really nice to see her. Right. Um, and then the Princess Chelsea band. Oh, that's um, cool. Yep. Yeah, they were really great. And then, yeah, there were just a lot of people who I didn't know I was going to bump into, you know, um, right. like Diaz Grimm. He's a hip hop artist. Yep. Um, so I just bumped into him. He was DJing there. Stevie Oxton and DJ as well. Right. Um, yeah, it was great. Cool. Really cool. So now you got a new song uh, yep. that you're going to play for us today. It's called uh, When It Gets Easy. Is that right? That's the one. Which yep. came out about a week ago. Yep. And you said there's a video that's going along with it as well. Yeah. We'll talk about the song for, in a minute. Tell me about the video. Yeah. So the music video, um, involves so i guess last time i was here on the 13th floor i had really long hair that's like, correct yeah, yeah but i still recognize you yeah that's, that's <laughs> good yeah 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 i didn't wear my hair like over my yeah, yeah yeah um but so for the music video um i had like a, a bunch of my really close friends and family um cut my hair off in Ooh. in real time Ooh. Um, so in one how short did it get take, um a bit shorter than this okay so like actually <laughs> It's kind of funny. The end of the video was supposed to be me, like giving myself a buzz cut with yep. like uh, clippers. Yep. But the clippers didn't work. <laughs> so like they were running. I could hear them buzzing, and I was like running them through my hair, but nothing was happening. Oh. Um, but that I guess that's the thing with a one shot, one take video yep. like yep. that. You can't yeah, do that's it. That's all again, you get. You know? um, <laughs> but yeah, it was a really special experience. You know, cool. like I think it re I felt like it really tied in with the meaning of the song, like right. having. Because I think at, at the time I felt like I had a lot of kind of emotional weight or baggage that I was just carrying around in my hair. Right. And like, you know, I feel like a lot of people when they go through like a big change in their life or something, they, they cut their hair as a way to kind of signify that. Something was different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I thought it would be really special to share that with. Right. Um, yeah. With people. And Close to post me. haircut, what's it been like for you? People commented on it and <laughs> yeah, wanted there's explanations. Been, yeah, there's been a little bit of that. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Like, it didn't didn't feel like as much of a change to me as I thought it would. Right, that's because like you I, can't see yourself so much. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> but I thought you know even just the physical feeling of it. Right. Or like if I caught myself in the mirror or something. Yeah, yeah, be, yeah. Like, oh, but who's that? <laughs> yeah, but it was actually okay. Um, right. Some of my workmates definitely found it a bit strange I guess because you know people at work you see them all the time and right yeah they, big, when it's as drastic as a change as that so I'm wondering like, oh, if I, I don't have any tattoos myself and I don't mm -hmm. know if you do but I wonder if that's why people get tattoos to change mm -hmm. the way they look like instead of a hair change it's like something more permanent yeah potentially I guess I have one tattoo it's like kind of hidden on my shoulder here and then so that one was like a um, so me and a couple of friends we have all three of us have matching oh, cool. tattoos and it's kind of like a that felt like a way to um, enshrine our friendship in yep, a way you yep, know? Uh, um, but yeah I think 
Yeah, there's all sorts of and then reasons. Uh, Fifty why years from now, when you're all about seventy, you can compare, see, see how it held up. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, and see how how much we still look like. The, yeah, <laughs> exactly. So yeah. what? Uh, so when did you write the song? When it gets easy? What, what was the, the the motivation for writing it? Yeah, so I wrote it um, last year in kind of August September time, right. um, and I wrote it. So the the song, I guess, is about the this process of um, of I guess growing older and learning to kind of navigate life, you know, as it as it gets more complicated and yep. <laughs> complex, right? Um, and I think like what I was realizing at the time was like I think when it, when I was a kid, I always thought that like um, when I was growing up, it would all like everything would kind of make sense and right. like so I it wouldn't fall into place. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, does it? yeah. And I and I think what I'm finding is like. Um, it doesn't get easy in that sense, but um, you know, as you get older and you learn more about yourself and you learn, um, I don't know, you get you get more resilient and things like that, and then you kind of actively work to to better yourself and things like that. Mm-hmm. That's that's how it gets easy. Right, right. Um, and that's kind of what I wanted to. Ah, so was yeah. ri- writing and singing the song somewhat carth- cathartic then? I think so, yeah. yeah. I feel like songwriting tends to be right. um, very cathartic for me. All right. um, yeah, it helps me kind of process and work through a lot of, um, yeah, like if I'm feeling confused or conflicted or something, up, you know, about, about stuff. Yep. Writing songs really helps. Uh-huh. Okay, so what do you got planned for the rest of the year? It's uh, mm. end of March almost now. Uh, yeah, it's unbelievable how quickly it's, it is flying it's going. <laughs> But yeah, I'm working on working towards an EP at oh, the cool. moment. So this song is part of that Great. collection okay. of songs. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a different sound, I think. Um, I guess previously my stuff's been very poppy. Right. Um, the new stuff is it's got a bit of an indie rock kind of feel, but it's still quite pop. So I'm trying to. I've been trying to. F- the last little season of writing for me has been kind of trying to mash those two sounds together. So. Okay. Yeah, that EP is going to be a bit a bit like that. Cool. All right. Well, I can't wait for the EP later yeah, in thanks, the year, man. right? You yes. Yeah. All right. Have you got all the songs written or there still some work to be done? I've got most of them written. Okay. There's like a couple of ideas that I have kind of just like floating around in there that I want to try and flesh out. But all right. yeah, we're getting close. Cool. In the meantime, we've got a live version of When It Gets Easy. Thanks. Sweet. Thanks, Marty. Yeah.
Accelerate, spin it in place I want it all and it gets easy Feel if the chase, hurricane days disintegrate I want it all and it gets easy, easy To feel this way Every day is all the same A mundane refrain My mind race Accelerate, spin it in place I want it all and it gets easy, easy See? 